Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to Stories with Gigi. Have you ever kept a journal or a diary? What would that be like if a worm did? Let's find out in the book, Diary of a Worm. And please like and subscribe. Let's begin. Diary of a Worm. Let's open this book. Here's a picture of a report card. It looks like worms get report cards just like boys and girls. Look at the picture that Spider made for him. It is web art. And look, he spelled worm in his web. Down below, you see a picture of worm on his first day of school. And there's a baby picture of worm and his dad. There's a picture of Worm and his best friend, Spider. And above that is Worm and his first tunnel. And finally, there's a picture of Worm and his family on vacation on Compost Island. Diary of a Worm by Doreen Cronin Pictures by Harry Bliss March 20th. Mom says there are three things I should always remember. Number one, the earth gives us everything we need. Number two, when we dig tunnels, we help take care of the earth. Must make tunnel, help earth breathe. Number three, never bother daddy when he's eating the newspaper. March 29th. Today, I tried to teach Spider how to dig. First, all of his legs got stuck. I think I've twisted one of my ankles. Then he swallowed a bunch of dirt. I give up. Tomorrow, he's going to teach me how to walk upside down. April 1st, worms cannot walk upside down. Boy, it's a good thing Spider saved him with a web. April 4th, fishing season started today. We all dug deeper. April 10th, it rained all night and the ground was soaked. We spent the entire day on the sidewalk. Hopscotch is a very dangerous game. It looks like they were very worried about getting stepped on. April 15th. I forgot my lunch today. I got so hungry that I ate my homework. My teacher made me write, I will not eat my homework. 10 times. When I was finished, I ate that too. <sighs> April 20th, I snuck up on some kids in the park today. They didn't hear me coming. I wiggled up right between them and they screamed. <coughs> I love when they do that. May 1st, Grandpa taught us that good manners are very important. So today, I said good morning to the first aunt I saw. Good morning! There were 600 more of them in line. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How you doing? Good morning, nice to see you. Howdy, good morning. I stood there all day. May 8th, had the worst nightmare last night. Giant birds playing hopscotch. Mom says I have to stop eating so much garbage right before I go to bed. May 15th, 
I got into a fight with Spider today. He told me you need legs to be cool. Then he ran. I couldn't keep up. Maybe he's right. <sighs> May 16th. I made Spider laugh so hard he fell out of his tree. Who needs legs? Huh. May 28th. Last night, I went to the school dance. You put your head in, you put your head out. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself about. Well, that's all we could do. June 5th. Today, we made macaroni necklaces in art class. I brought mine home and we ate it for dinner. You're very talented. June 15th. My older sister thinks she's so pretty. I told her that no matter how much time she spends looking in the mirror, her face will always look just like her rear end. Spider thought that was really funny. Mom did not. July 4th. When I grow up, I want to be a Secret Service agent. Spider says I will have to be very careful because the president might step on me by mistake. It's a dangerous job, I told him, but someone's got to do it. July 28th. Three things I don't like about being a worm. Number one, I can't chew gum. Number two, I can't have a dog. Can we keep him, Mom? <coughs> Number three, all that homework. July 29th, three good things about being a worm. Number one, I never have to go to the dentist. No cavities. No teeth either. Number two, I never get in trouble for tracking mud through the house. And number three, I never have to take a bath. Who's my grubby little boy? August 1st. It's not always easy being a worm. We're very small and sometimes people forget that we're even here. But, like mom always says, the earth never forgets you're here. And here are the last pictures in the book. Oh goodness, bee stung me. Looks like he's swollen. Oh no, isn't this leaf awesome? Looks like worm ate some money. I found this really cool rock. Well, he doesn't know. That's a baseball. Mom and Dad's anniversary. Gross. Oh, look. My own comic. And here's a picture of my sister's slumber party. <laughs> and finally, my favorite pile of dirt. I sure hope you enjoyed that hilarious book diary of a worm. Worms are very important for our earth. So if you happen to see one, just leave it alone. Until next time. Bye.